Welcome everyone to this Byju's webinar uh, celebrating the Byju's young geniuses. Today we'll be talking with Jui Kesker who has invented a very unique set of gloves for Parkinson's patients. Welcome to the webinar Jui and uh, congratulations on being a Byju's young genius. How does that feel? Amazing. I mean just it sounds so nice in my head. It's really exciting. and uh, how was the experience you recently went to the studio uh, in mumbai to shoot how was that experience it was different in a very good way like i got to learn a lot of things and even things like so much effort is put into one episode that is also something i got to know and it was just an amazing experience okay. and of course meeting shankar and madhavan sir that that was <laughs> surreal So from what I understand uh you have invented a glove for Parkinson's uh, patients. Uh how did you come across this problem statement? So uh, a little background my uncle is a patient of Parkinson's disease and we I've always lived in a joint family and I I uh, lived in a joint family and I was very close to my uncle and he I always wanted to help him in some way and I knew that Parkinson's disease is something that affected his life a lot. So, and I also knew that the manifestation of Parkinson's disease is tremors. Tremors is the main symptom of Parkinson's disease. The amount of medication that is given is completely based on the tremors. And uh, the medication that the doctor gave was completely based on the narrated experience of the patient, which made it slightly unscientific. and to make this process a little more scientific i thought as they say one cannot control what one cannot measure i thought if we are able to measure and profile these tremors only then can we control it so that being the uh, initial aim i started and this problem statement came across this is very technical this is biomedical engineering you would be using probably an app creation or uh, coding as well How did you learn all that? All of this started in lockdown. I know like everyone was new to online school and it wasn't quite working out. And I got a lot of free time in that period. Mm-hmm. So I decided that why not use it in making something myself. Initially I actually started researching about what options are already available and I realized that for Parkinson's disease not many options are available. and so i decided to make one myself and i also started learning python programming in the process and right now at what stage are you at uh, from what i understand uh, you have already created a prototype yes the working model is ready now before i commercialize it some steps are remaining such as since this is going to be tested on patients some legal safety certifications are required before i can do that even though it is say as simple as using say a remote control but still it's uh, those uh, steps are required how uh, were there people to help you out at home friends teachers as well my dad was had uh, is a mentor but he lives in germany but remotely he could sometimes help me and um i think yeah he guided me the, to the entire in the entire process and sometimes when i got distracted my mom would be there to you know get me back on track all right uh, i've heard uh, that you have gotten a plethora of awards as well uh, how did that happen how did people get to know about this yeah so i made this device and a couple of people some of my dad's friends uh, they suggested that maybe i should consider applying for awards i wasn't aware of any of the awards before i made this but after they suggested i i thought i thought why not so i applied for a couple of them and yeah which uh, innovator or scientist inspires you the most um i would say marie curie i've read a lot about uh, madam marie curie and i think the hardships that she had to go through and yet she managed to make such a huge change in the human life i think that is something which is really appreciable you must be uh, doing the regular academic study along with this project of yours mm-hmm. right so right. how do you manage your time actually i have this thing where i make time tables 
I uh, completely divide my time in how I should say from 8 to 2, 8.30 to 2, I have school. And after that, uh, how much time should I give for the school studies and how much time for this, I divide it accordingly. Okay, that's a trick that I learned, I think, uh, after two, three years of working. And typically people learn that it's not just a trick, just getting that discipline in of uh, making your calendar, dividing your time and doing work according to that. Now, I do get a 25 year old, a 30 year old doing that. I don't get how someone at your age is so disciplined and motivated. How do you actually stay motivated like that? I feel like I've taken these qualities from my parents. They're also very uh, motivated in that sense. And uh, and these, uh, frankly speaking, these awards as well have kind of motivated me. When it comes to Parkinson's, a uh, lot of people do not know about it. Hence, there isn't a lot of innovation in that field as well. Uh, how do you feel uh, that we can improve on that? I think a lot of times what happens is we have problems all around us, but we don't do anything about it. That's not the kind of attitude we should keep. We should look for problems and try to solve them. That's when the ball will start rolling. So a lot of students and children uh, after watching this, after watching your episode as well, are uh, would be very inspired by you. So congratulations on that. Uh, what would you suggest these students uh, to focus on the most? Because we have heard a lot of people saying that in India, innovation needs to go to the next step. How do you propose that young students like yourself actually go uh, towards that? I think exploring and researching about things that you are interested in, that's the step, that's the, that's the first step. And managing your time, that is again one. And of course, school definitely to some extent helps, but you as well have to take a step forward towards it, like learn new things. And that's when, if you know, learn things, you will automatically uh, develop interest in them. All right. Thank you, Joey, for joining us. I wish you good luck. Uh, I hope that the J Tremor 3D gloves uh, clears all the medical testing. And we see it as a common sight in all our hospitals all across the country. 